I'm Ty Moser and this is the Mono Local Workshop. I've been coming across a lot of really neat wood lately like this piece of Palo Verde that's been bored out by carpenter bees or this oak burl that Rocky Phillips from Instagram sent me. I really want to use this stuff but I can't yet because it's just so brittle. So today I'm going to be building a vacuum chamber out of all this stuff to stabilize it. I've seen a lot of people do this kind of stuff out of like pickle jars or big old giant acrylic tubes. Um, be careful. I'm not saying this is going to work and I'm going to experiment and if it doesn't work for me, well, I guess you'll find out. For this build, I'm using a cookie jar for the chamber, a vacuum gauge, vacuum pump, and a few connectors and adapters to put it all together. There will be a link in the description to a detailed article with a shopping list. You'll need to drill a couple holes in the lid for the gauge and inlet, making sure to leave enough room around the edges for a seal. If your lid isn't concave like mine, you might be able to use one large seal for everything. Otherwise, epoxy will work out nicely for the gauge and inlet. You'll want to roughen up all of the surfaces with sandpaper and then clean them with a solvent to help everything bond together. While the epoxy is drying, cut a seal out of some flat rubber or silicone making sure you completely cover the rim of your container. My lid didn't sit low enough for the seal to touch the rim, so I trimmed off about a half an inch using my angle grinder and then cleaned it up with an abrasive drill attachment and sandpaper. When attaching all of the connectors and adapters, you'll want to apply Teflon tape to all of the threaded areas to ensure a proper seal. Vacuum chambers can be dangerous if they implode while under vacuum. I was a little apprehensive for the main void, so I suited up. You'll notice a decent amount of what appears to be smoke coming out of the ball valve. It's actually a fine mist of oil coming out of the vacuum pump, which is fairly normal, especially when your oil level is a tad on the high side. There's a lot of different ways to measure a vacuum. The method I'm using is a mercury vacuum gauge, which marks its units in HG and ranges from about 0 to 30. Depending on your elevation and temperature, your maximum attainable vacuum will generally be between 24 and a little under 29 HG. If you would like more information about this project, I have a detailed article on my website that includes a complete shopping list. I will have a link in the description below. If you want to learn more about stabilizing wood in a vacuum chamber, one of my upcoming videos will be the hows and whys of stabilizing wood. After that, you can expect some videos on how to build a pressure pot and casting wood in resin. If you're not already subscribed, now would be a great time to do so. It's free, and I don't want you to miss out on all of the great stuff that I've got going on here. You can greatly help me out if you comment down below and share out to your friends. So, as always, thanks for watching, and stay safe.